If you've been seeing videos like these all over your feed recently, it's because of a brand new AI video model called Sora 2, and it is absolutely insane. It's now easier than ever to create ultra realistic AI videos in seconds. And in this video, I'm gonna show you eight of the most powerful ways to use Sora 2, so you can fully take advantage of this new technology. Whether it's to grow your business, create viral content, or just to see what's possible and stay ahead of the AI curve. All right, let's get started with use case number one, and that's turning photos into videos for social media content. So the other day I took this photo near my apartment in Berlin, which is a very highly rated uh, kebab shop, which is opening a second location near where we live, which I was quite excited about. But it got me thinking is if you are the owner, the small business owner of this kebab shop and you want to make some noise around this second location uh, you are opening up, of course, you could maybe post a picture of the shop front with the coming soon. But let's see if we can use Sora to create something a little bit more engaging. So here I am in Sora, which we can access at sora.chatgpt.com where we can see already some uh, generated content from other users. And at the bottom here, we can add our prompt. The first thing I'm gonna do is upload that image. And then with our image uploaded, I'm gonna add the following prompt. So I'm gonna say, use the exact scene from the image, but have a goat walk out the doorway. The goat then jumps on one of the bikes that are here in the image and then casually walks down the street. So the idea being here is that in Berlin, kebabs are sort of like pizza in New York City. It's very competitive. There's a lot of debate about what is the best kebab in town. So here, the um, shop that's opening its second location could post a video with this goat saying that the goat of kebabs is coming and maybe cause a bit of discussion. So let's send this one off to Sora. And now that one's been added to the queue and we just have to wait for the generation to be completed. Now, what's really impressive about this is the level of detail. Obviously, the goat just naturally comes out of the, the scene that we're in from that photo, the way it jumps on that bike and the bike wobbles back into position, the noises of the street and the goat uh, screaming. And when the street, the street sort of pans down, we see some parked cars have been added. So it all fits in this natural scene. It, I think this just opens up a lot of possibilities for small business owners, maybe like the owner of this kebab shop who might not have access to video editors, to their own social media team. It's really going to allow a lot more people to get creative. On to use case number two, and that's creating your very own personal AI avatar. Now, this is something that only works on the Sora app on your phone. So I'm just going to open up the Sora app. And then I'm just gonna click on my profile in the bottom right here and we can see here, create cameo. So cameos are basically the way we can create these AI avatars. Here it says star in any video. I'm just gonna select get started. And so now I need to record a quick video so that Sora understands how I talk, my expressions. So you can just basically follow the prompts on the screen. I'm gonna select start recording, 66, 79, 97. Turn my head to the left, move my head up. So I can get a good view of my chins, here we go. And now this video is going to upload and after a minute, our cameo, our AI avatar is ready to use. All right, and after a minute, we can see that we're all done here. I can just hit continue. And to finish the setup of our cameo, our AI avatar, we have some options here. So first of all, we can select who should be able to use this cameo. So you can go all the way from like the most open, set this to everyone or say, hey, only me, or I only wanna be the only one that can use my AI avatar. That's what I'm gonna set. And then we also have some cameo preferences. So you can see here, guide how Sora represents you. Here we can add some text instructions to further hone those videos that we create. Now to use that AI AI avatar, our cameo inside Sora. Whenever we go to add a prompt, we can see here we can add a cameo and here we can add our own as well as cameos of uh, other people. And so I'm just gonna add my user. And the use case that I wanna test out is can I create snippets that I can share on uh, my LinkedIn sharing updates on AI news. So here I've said at my corner, which is my username, vlogging, sharing the following. And here I put quotes. This is what I should be saying in the video. So big news out of Gemini. Tomorrow we can expect a big update in Google AI Studio, making it even easier for non-developers to deploy production ready apps. So this was a tweet that I saw. And now I wanna have my AI avatar sharing this news with my audience. So I'm just gonna send this one off. And we can see that one's been added to the queue. There's some big news out of Gemini. Tomorrow we can expect a big update in Google AI Studio, making it even easier for non-developers to deploy production ready apps. Now this is pretty nuts. With just those few numbers, it was able to duplicate my voice, 
my likeness, also the way that I'm expressing myself. Obviously, when you look at yourself personally, I clearly know that this is not me, it's AI generated. But I think for people that might not know me so well and they see this on social media, that could pass as me actually just sharing this news. Where this could come in handy is you can basically create your AI avatar in a studio like where I am here with good lighting. And then if you're on the go and you wanna create a quick video snippet of some news that you wanna share, doesn't matter if you're in the train, on the bus, you can basically just prompt Sora and then you have a ready-made video ready to go. Right, on to our next use case and that's generating celebrity endorsements. When we're prompting Sora, on top of being able to add our own cameo, as I said earlier, we can also add cameos of others. And we're already seeing a few celebrities active on the platform. And one person who is already quite active is Mark Cuban. So you can see already 34K followers on Sora. And there's a lot of videos featuring Mark on the platform. So I thought I'd try the same prompt. Now, instead of me vlogging, I've got Mark Cuban vlogging and saying the following. The number one thing you can do for your company right now is to train your team in AI, which is what we do here at 9X. And then he says, I've used the guys over at 9X to train my whole executive team. So let me send this one off. And a few moments later, that one's ready to check out. The number one thing you can do for your company right now is train your team in AI. Everybody's trying to figure this stuff out and the businesses that get their people up to speed first are the ones that are gonna win. I've used the guys over at 9X to train my whole exec team. They make it simple, hands-on, and immediately useful. Now, this is pretty scary. 100%, I would not be able to tell the difference whether that was Mark actually saying this or not. Now, obviously I'm not recommending that anyone goes and creates a bunch of fake celebrity endorsements for their product. You will end up being sued. Also here in Sora, you can actually not download this video. If you just create a regular Sora video, you are able to download it. There's obviously the Sora watermark to show that it's AI generated. And if I post this, whoever cameo I feature will be notified and they can obviously take down the video. But one thing that is important to point out is this could be the future of celebrity brand endorsements. Now, celebrities do not have much time. If a brand reaches out to them and they can use AI to create the whole ad that is going to feature the celebrity and their team just then needs to approve the content, A, they can make a lot more money with different brand deals and it speeds up the whole process. All right, onto our next use case and that is generating product videos. So in Sora, I'm just gonna upload an image of a physical product, in this case, a running shoe. And let's drop in a very, very simple prompt. To generate a high production product video for this sneaker. I can choose whether this should be in portrait or landscape, as well as the uh, duration of the video. Should it be 15 seconds or 10 seconds? So I'm just gonna say portrait, 15 seconds, and send this one off. F Blast Plus Foam, pure gel in the heel, and an outsole built to bite back. Delivering fearless cushioning, no matter how rough the trail gets. The all new Nova Blast Trail, available now. Now it's pretty nuts from that one short prompt that this video was generated. This looks like a high production running shoe commercial that it picked up on the feature of pure gel from that image. Now one call out that I've seen in Sora, whenever you are uploading an image and asking it to create a video featuring that image, that first frame is always the image, but this is, I guess, something that you could easily edit out in a video editor. And also here in the Sora app, we obviously have the Sora watermark, but if this is something that you're using the Sora API for, it is completely watermark free. All right, onto our next use case, and that's using Sora 2 to create UGC videos, user generated content. Now to test this one out, I actually went first into ChatGPT and have it make up a fake product. So in this case, a concealer called Nude Theory, and I've downloaded this image. And over in Sora, I'm gonna add this image with the following prompt. So here's saying a Gen Z woman filming a get ready with me style vlog using this concealer and talking about how great it is. Now I wanna give a quick shout out. I actually got inspiration for this use case from another channel, Roboverse, who did a full video on using Sora 2 for UGC content. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. All right, so let's send this one off and that one's been added to the queue. Let's check out the results. Okay, so this is the Nude Theory Concealer. I am obsessed. I'm just gonna pop a little right here under my eyes and a tiny bit on my nose. The texture is so creamy but lightweight and it actually stays all day without getting cakey. Look at how easy that blended out. Bright, smooth, and it matches my undertone perfectly. If you're building a quick everyday routine, this is that girl, she's in my- As you can see, this is a very realistic video that was generated. She mentioned straight away the brand name. I didn't even need to say that in the prompt. That was just taken from the picture. Even the details of how the makeup blends into her skin. Now, what this means for business 
businesses. Imagine you're launching a new product and you want to have a new landing page. You can already fill that landing page with high quality videos of people actually using your product. All right, onto our next use case, and that's creating viral trends featuring your brand. I'm not sure how many of you saw this video or something similar circulating on Twitter earlier in the year. You can see here 1.4 million views on this video. And so we can see here this user created basically this AI ad featuring an Ikea box that then immediately explodes to a fully furnished room. And what this video actually did, because it's now easier than ever to create videos with AI, you actually had several copycats creating their own version of this video. And if you're a brand manager, this is a massive opportunity where you can actually have users create content for your brand. So imagine you're the brand manager of Starbucks. You could post a video like this on Sora. This is here highlighting their pumpkin spice latte flavor. A swirl of whipped cream, a dusting of cinnamon, and that sweet pumpkin spice aroma. This is the latte everyone waits for. And you could basically encourage your followers to remix this and create their own flavors. So here in Sora, we have this remix feature, which means you can take an existing video and with a prompt, simply edit it. So I might add a prompt like make it a cinnamon roll latte. I'll send this one off and we can take a look at our creation. A swirl of whipped cream, a sprinkle of cinnamon sugar, and that fresh baked cinnamon roll aroma. This is the latte worth lingering over. Steamed milk, rich espresso, cozy spices, all topped with sweet icing drizzle. And because now Sora makes it so easy to create these videos, you could easily run a competition, maybe a giveaway amongst your followers, whoever can create the most unique or interesting flavor, maybe that gets added to the menu and they win a year's supply of coffee. So as a brand, you can really think about how you can create trends that will have people featuring your product. Now for our next use case, it's generating stock footage at scale. So far we've been using the Sora app and manually prompting, but you can also leverage the power of Sora 2 via API and this will allow us to generate videos at scale. And so the scenario here is imagine you're working in the travel industry and you need to generate a lot of stock footage, maybe for social ads or for content on your website. So here I've just created a basic uh, Google sheet where we have different scenarios. So we have different destinations that we need to promote and you could put any number here in the list. We have the traveler type, we have the audience, so where are they traveling from? and we have the time of the year. And for each of the, those scenarios, we need to generate some stock footage that we can use. And in my case, for leveraging the Sora API, I've built a workflow here in N8N, but you can do the same, whether it's in Make, Zapier, or even where you're coding a fully fledged application. And how this workflow works is we're gonna be looping through those different scenarios in the Google Sheet, and for each one, creating a video. And then this second path takes care of saving the video when it's been successfully generated and uploading it to Google Drive. We can see here we're using the OpenAI API where we're generating a new video. So we're creating a new video to the video's endpoint. And now we can actually pass through our prompt. And this prompt is dynamic. So you can see it's pulling in the different fields from that Google Sheet. So here it says generate an eight second high quality travel video that showcases the essence of. And here we dynamically pass in the destination. So in the case of the third row in our Google Sheet, that would be Paris, France. The audience is a young couple who are American visiting the city during the spring. And so that would basically for every row in the spreadsheet generate a dynamic video. So after that workflow finishes running, we can see our Google Sheet is updated with all of the Sora video IDs plus the link to that generated video in our Google Drive. Let's go and take a look at some of the results. We can see that is pretty insane. We can see just how quickly we can generate very custom stock footage for whatever scenario we need. No more scrolling through stock footage apps and paying quite a lot of money for stock video. Now you can simply prompt exactly what you need. Now, if you are interested in trying out this N8N workflow for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this full template that you can easily import into your account and simply adapt the prompts to your use case. All right, onto our final use case, and that is localizing videos for different markets. And here we're gonna use the same example of the user-generated content for our new concealer that we did 
earlier, but this time see how we can adapt that to different markets. So here I've got a very simple Google Sheet with just a column for the prompt where I have the same prompt, but I've basically adapted it depending on the language and where the um, actor in the video should be from. We're gonna again get the video ID from Sora and save back the Google Drive link. And we're gonna be using this N8N workflow to loop through all of those items in the sheet go through each prompt and then generate that specific video with the Sora 2 API. We've added one st step before generating the video and that is downloading the image. So here I'm just hosting that image of our nude theory concealer, that fake product that we created. And then we can basically pass this image alongside our dynamic prompt to the Sora 2 API. So here we're making a call to the OpenAI API with the video's endpoint. We've got the Sora 2 Pro model selected and the image is attached. And for every single row in that Google Sheet, we will create a different video with a dynamic prompt. So for instance, the first one would be a German Gen Z woman filming a get ready with me in German. And after that workflow has finished running, we have all of the video IDs here in our Google Sheet, plus the direct link to the files in the Google Drive. So let's go and check some of these out. We can see in the videos that were generated, it's not only using a similar AI actress to the first example we had and then just changing the language, but you can see how the person also adapts depending on the market. And also same for this workflow, if you're interested in the template to import it into your own N8N account, check the link in the description below. Now that wraps up my eight best use cases for Sora 2, which is hands down one of the most impressive AI tools to come out recently. But if you wanna go deeper down the AI rabbit hole, click here to check out the next video where I share the best AI tools that I found after testing more than 300 of them. In that video, I break down the best AI tools that you can use to do everything from boosting your personal productivity all the way to transforming your entire operation. So if that's interesting, I'll see you in the next one.